Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for October. Okay, so this is for October. We're just going to see what comes up. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. Okay, October is going to be a very prominent month for you. This just fell out of the deck, so it's going to be a very prominent month. This one also fell out clouds, temporary problems. So you may be going through some temporary problems. I just looked on the bottom. We had short journey horse. You may be taking a short journey in October. October is going to be a pro pro very prominent month of change. So let's get a couple of these. What do we have? What do we have for Gemini? They will not change ever, ever. You're dealing with an ass, stubborn ass. You got a stubborn ass here that's never going to change. Unrequited love. You must be in an unrequited love situation. We got the cat that loves the dog. The dog does not love the cat, okay? So we have an unrequited love situation here. There's one-sidedness, not interested. This is only lust. So somebody's in a situation for all the wrong reasons. Let's get one of these. we have for Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? There it is. There it is. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you are going to be having passion with somebody. It's probably not going to be with your unrequited love situation. Okay. So, there is some passion to be had. What do we have for Gemini? Whatever it is, it's absolutely beautiful there. I mean, take a look at that. That's like passionate. It's love. It is. It's like love making. Strength. Strength. So this is going to be a month of strength, courage, willpower. Probably letting something go because this is when you find the strength to let something go. Mastering your raw emotions. This is a very graceful energy. You have a lot to be proud of. I feel like you you are probably going to be in a really good place as far as your own self-confidence goes. I feel like you I feel like you are going to be uh, getting some recognition from somebody. And I feel like you're going to you I feel like you have a lot to be proud of. I really do. There's definitely nothing for you to be ashamed of. I also want to say, uh, I feel like I want to say congratulations. So that's interesting. Um, so what do we have for Gemini? Okay. I just cut the deck. We got the Queen of Pentacles and the, the Chariot card. So this is movement. It is victory. Okay. You're heading in a new direction. Uh, driving, okay, taking a journey, uh, mastering, though that is mastering emotions, going someplace, moving forward, leaving something behind. Some of you could be packing up and leaving home, taking a journey. Uh, this is stability, okay, this is being practical, being uh, responsible, putting in a lot of hard work, focusing, 
focusing on your value, knowing your value. You could also be receiving a gift, a very generous offer from somebody that allows you to move forward. Or there could be somebody that is coming towards you that is very stable, that is solid, that is secure, that is giving some you know, either, you know, I think I just over said that like twice. I don't do that a lot, huh? Anyway, there, I feel like there is good, there could be an arrival for some of you. Whoever is coming in uh, is stable. They are stable. They have something of value to offer you. This is a hard worker. May even be a businesswoman that is giving you an offer. Some of you are going somewhere. There's travel. There's tra you can meet somebody on travel if you're traveling. There could be somebody here at a distance that you're meeting up with. There could be moving, like I said, with that chariot card. Somebody may be packing up their stuff, packing it like in the van or packing it and leaving, packing it somewhere. There's going to be some opposition, though. And this is leaving something behind. It's just like, this is a warrior here that is definitely strong. It's definitely strong. So I think that you're going to be in a peer, you're going to be in a very, you're going to be finding your confidence in your willpower and your determination to move forward this month. This is about value. It's about self-value. You're going to be, you're going to see an increase of self-value. Okay. It's like, you, you know your value. So yeah. Making a courageous move. I think you're going to be doing something courageous. You may be deepening a bond with somebody after you've been in an unrequited love situation and you're very fearful, but I think that you're going to do it. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is about financial stability, financial security. Definitely could be a change on the home front, change in residency. Could have something to do with the home. Could be a purchase of the home or a change in the home. We have prosperity here and abundance that is coming to you. Three of Wands. Get prepared for an arrival. I do believe we have somebody here that's going to be traveling. Okay. Definitely get prepared. I also see a departure. Okay. So I feel, and I, I, to, I totally see that. It's like a departure and an arrival. Get prepared. Something that you have been waiting for is about to happen. And I think it has to do with your home or a commitment. may have to do with a business as well. There's going to be an increase of abundance with that Ten of Pentacles. Get prepared. Get prepared to see some sort of increase. And it's because you have the strength to overcome something. When you, when you, you know, find the strength to overcome things, everything else falls into place. I feel like the future looks really, really bright. It does with Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands. That is a bright future ahead. Your, your future does look bright, okay? It does. I think that, you know, I think that something's going to happen really, really soon, okay? Really, 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 really soon. A definite decision is being made. There is somebody coming towards you. There is. Or you're going towards them. Queen of Swords reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. Four 
four of swords death of a situation exhausted fed up angry upset frustrated what i feel like you're going to receive some information there's so, there's a woman here that's going is is wrecking some sort of havoc could even be an ex there is somebody here that is going to be wrecking havoc. I don't know if you are, have gotten or you're getting into a commitment with somebody else. There could be an ex here that is causing problems. This is an untrustworthy individual. This is somebody that, and it doesn't have to be an ex. We have a, a malicious, a malicious, I feel like it's a woman. We have a malicious woman here that is, uh, is feeling isolated. She's feeling alone. She's being vindictive. She's acting re revengeful. And if you are the cross watcher, this could be your Gemini. That we, you're, you know, if you're the cross watcher watching this, there is somebody here that is acting revengeful, that is acting re vindictive. This person is, uh, it's almost like dangerous. You know, he may even have some mental things going on right now. You know, they're mentally conflicted. They're going through some mental turmoil over a, uh, something to do with a business or something to do with the home over a departure you know so we have somebody here that may be very very upset over a departure you know and they and they are you know they've been planning something you know and they may be reacting to their plans you know they may want maybe somebody left and they want somebody to come back or they want to stop somebody from leaving Maybe because of the money, you may have somebody here that just doesn't want to keep somebody around just for the money. So they're being extremely aggressive. I do think that we have some extreme like aggression here. Somebody that's looking for a fight and this is about money. It's about the house or the home or the business or whatever it is. We have a woman here that is wrecking havoc. She's causing problems. Maybe she's jealous. And it could be an ex. It could be a co-worker. It is somebody that is acting in a vindictive manner because they're not happy. They're, not, they're upset. They're really, really upset that something has ended. And they want control. They want control. So for some of you, you know, you're going to be dealing with this person. It's a woman that is mean-spirited and is going to be trying to exert herself she's upset that somebody has left hang man hang man thinking about things and struggling to let go there is a woman here that is struggling to let go of an ending and it could be you if you are the woman that is watching this we and it, it definitely could be so gemini libra aquarius could be a pisces um, this person is thinking they're, they're being, they're acting revengeful. They, they're planning things. They may even be trying to do like spells, you know, this, it's not going to work out, but they may be trying to, you know, they think that they have that power, but this person is actually powerless. Queen of Swords reversed. That's no power. So, uh, you know, this is person is definitely acting, you know, aggressive, trying to hold on to something, doesn't want to let go. So, yeah, I, be, I believe that you are going to be deepening a bond with somebody, but there's an ex here that is going to be ha causing problems. They're just temporary problems. Could also be a Leo. You have Pisces, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This has to do with a home or it has to do with a, a move, you know, if somebody has moved or it has to do with a, a deepening connection with somebody else. There is an ex here that is going to be causing you problems. And it's just because of the money because there's no love in these cards. This person doesn't want to let go because they like the control that they had. They want control. They want control. That's the only reason they want to hang on. Chariot, yeah, try some chariot reverse. Somebody's trying to stop somebody from leaving. You know, they want control. They want control. They, they're trying to cause delays. They're trying to cause problems. Somebody's going to be picking a fight. This is this is somebody that is. Uh, I feel like they have some mental issues. Just being honest, this person. This is like an angry outburst or an emotional outburst. They're trying to stop somebody from uh, leaving. So yeah, I do believe that you are going to be. 
dealing with a female that is uh, acting out of context. She cannot master her emotions at all. She's losing it. She's losing it. Um, she wants to hold on. She wants to hold on, not out of love, out of control, only out of control. She doesn't want to lose her power, you know. And she's angry, very, very angry, very bitter, resentful, revengeful. Queen of Pentacles reverse, um, mentally unstable. Underneath the Queen of uh, Swords reverse, there's somebody here that's mentally unstable. Jealous, very jealous. Only wants to hold on for the money. That's it. Greedy, selfish, mean spirited. This is like a green eyed monster here that just wants. I don't know, wants the assets, doesn't want to split the assets, doesn't, doesn't want to have to pay for things, doesn't have, to, can't take care of herself, doesn't want to take care of herself. There's some sort of neglect here as well. An ignorance, you know, an unstable. So we have somebody here that, is, it feels like there's some sort of abuse, there's insecurity. Okay, we, got, we, have, we have a female here that is very, very insecure. She's uh, going to be reacting. She, you're going to be dealing with a with a reactive female. It's because she was rejected, and it, maybe you were chosen. It's an unrequited love situation. Get prepared. Get prepared. This person is going to be picking a fight. And it may have something to do with children. You know, I don't know if this what person has, it could be some sort of neglect here. You know, this person's trying to punish with the hangman. That's like so, trying to punish you. Somebody's trying to punish you. This person is, is mentally unstable. Queen of Swords reverse, uh, Queen of Pentacles reverse. Very insecure. Trying to stop, trying to stop your success. Trying to cause delays, picking a fight, being aggressive. Something about financial stability. They they want the money. They want the money. So what is this? Ten of ten of pentacles. Ace of Swords reverse underneath it. That's lack of clarity, dishonest, untruthful. Loss of power. We have a female that has lost her power. She has lost her power. She's uh, not being truthful at all. Very, very, very dishonest female here doesn't tell the truth, dangerous even. This female is planning something. But she's not planning it well. She's not planning it well. She thinks she is, but she's not. Wheel of Fortune, upright, change of events, wheel spinning, positive, good luck, luck is on your side. The wheel is spinning you in a new direction. We have a cycle that is ending. Ten, ten, ten of pentacles, ten, and the wheel of fortune, completion, completion of a cycle. Get prepared, get prepared for some movement. You're going in a new direction. It is positive, luck is on your side. This person will not be successful. There is somebody that is going to be challenging you. They're going to try to stop you from success. They're gonna stop, try to stop you from whatever this is, whatever this, I feel like there's a passionate connection here. They're not gonna be successful. They're not gonna be.
Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's not going to work out. Eight of Pentacles reversed. It's not going to work out for this person. You got somebody here that they're going to give up. They're not going to they're going to they're going to try, but they're not going to try too hard. They may say some things, but they're not very practical. They're not they're lazy. This person is lazy. Jealous, angry, trying to punish, trying to prove themselves, but they don't have the skills. This person doesn't have the skills. They don't have the, they don't have the money or they don't have the uh, mindset even. This person isn't very logical. They're going to be, they're going to be stopped before they even get very far. They won't get very far. There could be a loss of a job. I don't know if this is somebody that you work with. They may be losing their position. It could be. It could be a co-worker. It's, for some of you, it could be a co-worker that's losing their position. Or it could be an ex that is losing their partner, you know, and they don't want to give up. So but it looks like you are going to be successful. Your future looks bright. You're moving in a new direction towards abundance. I feel like there's there's some sort of lack of clarity here. You may be unaware that things are going to go in your favor, but you definitely have a bitch here that is going to be causing you problems. There is no doubt about it. This person is trying to stop your success. This person is jealous. They refuse to look at things from a new perspective. They refuse to let go. They think that they know it all. This is a know it all. It feels like they, they, it almost feels like they think that they need to teach you something, you know. They're going to get stopped. They're going to get stopped right in their tracks. They're going to come up against a roadblock. Six of Wands, victory, success, victory after sorrow. This is a win. You win, you win, you win. There's also, you may have a warrior that's coming in. You may have a warrior or a hero. Okay, this is somebody that is very noble, very strong, very dependable. This person may have uh, ended some sort of battle recently and they may have decided to come in your direction. Um, this could be a savior, right? The Six of Wands. This is a leader. Yeah, this is a win. You're winning. You're going to win. You're winning. You're winning. Yeah, there's some sort of public recognition here as well. There's some sort of, this is like famous as well. So there's some sort, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is famous or you're dealing with somebody that is a natural born leader. This person has skills. They are, they don't give up. They're all done playing games. They're all done fighting. This is the end of a battle. You win, you win, you win. Congratulations, you win. So you're winning. And there's, there is for some fortune here. Okay, we have abundance. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is something very fortunate going in your favor. This is the end of a conflict. It's the end of a competition. I think there's a choice between two people here. I think a decision is definitely being made with the three of three of wands. That is a definite decision. Okay, so a definite decision is being made. It has to do with moving. And whoever is being left behind is going to throw a fit. But you are going to be successful and you are going in a better direction and luck is on your side and you are going to, wherever you're headed, there's abundance, there's, there's stability and it may have something to do with a home. It's like going home or a change in the home, a change in the home, something about the home. Congratulations. You're free. You're free. Or whoever you're dealing with is free. I mean, the Six of Wands is a, is a, is a um, warrior who is all done fighting. And they have found a way out of 
some sort of competition or a battle. It's like the war is over, right? It is. It's like it's over. It's over. It's over. I'm free. I'm free. Now I can relax. Whew. But this bitch, wow. Good luck.